afternoon, everybody. Raid update for the team as a whole um, on VHR. Great job on getting the 3-7 heroic. I know we had quite a few attempts having to go on to uh, be able to defeat Ursoc, but we knocked him down. Remember that we're going to continue with making sure that we have the um, inscription rune that's available for him uh, till we have enough DPS and throw put where it's not that much of a challenge that we require the extra 1,000 versatility. So make sure at this point that that's what you're buying on a weekly basis from the auction house or get someone to make it for you um, involving the pigments that are required. Um, also make sure that you're working on getting the necessary flasks and necessary potions that have them available. We really need to start getting it to a point where we're able to apply two of them. Um, currently on the server we're ranked 14th overall um, as heroic teams at 3-7. We really need to start pushing to getting that 5, 6, and 7 kills as soon as possible. Um, we got down to 1% on ER, so I feel ER is right around the corner with proper execution and time. We did the polling. Um, overall, we were only able to get a high of 9 total votes on Tuesday out of the 23 people that are showing up consistently. Uh, so please, if you haven't got a chance to vote on the poll, please do so. If you can't see it, if there's any issues, I don't know. There's, it says there's 43 people that have taken a look at it. Um, a lot of people have commented. We're at like 12 comments total. Uh, I, I'm going to choose Tuesday, Wednesday, and Sunday for our dates involving being able to do heroic and mythic content, and then I'll be adding normal in on one of the other days, um, be it um, Monday or Thursday, and just see how that kind of plays itself out. Uh, to be able to do the normal at this point, you know, 840, 845, and up, you know, and make sure that you're prepared with the necessary material so that way you can do your job when you're in there. I've done how-to videos for the first four or five bosses now and I'm going to finish up all of them. On the bosses that we haven't gotten to kill on Heroic, I'm just going to use the best executions and, and that'll give us a visual of as far as how they're managing it and what we can do to sit there and improve our overall approach. Um, patch 7.1 PTR, that boss put out a video just a little bit ago involving um, Karazhan, so if you haven't had a chance to take a look at it, it seems there's nine bosses and it's five men, uh, it's five man, women, <laughs> five people uh, that will be doing the, the attempt on it. So make sure that you take a look at the video. Um, I haven't gotten a chance to review it, so I don't know how profanity laced it is. So if you're at work, make sure you're not playing it over your speakers and whatnot. And, you know, just take a look at it, see what you think, and, and go forward from there. Uh, we were able to get a Nathandra kill for a heroic attempt, but we didn't get uh, photographs for the other ones because once you loot the body, it seems you have like 15 seconds to get everybody to pose. So when we get kills this week on heroic bosses that we haven't, I'm going to date them accordingly to when we got the kills and um, not distribute the loot until after everyone takes the photograph and whatnot and just kind of work on that going forward, okay? Um, MMO Champion has a number of things. Uh, they're adding a new mount that you can take a peek at. There's uh, some blue tweets that are pretty interesting as far as world bosses and BlizzCon information. They also have their builds of the month uh, involving different computers starting at 535 going up to 1327. These are the relative characters as far as which ones have been leveled the most. Uh, it seems Paladins take the lead again. I'm going to dab on that. Um, one of the things that was really cool, Ghost Crawler was asked about his idea behind when they created LFR and how he felt that it's just a terrible concept so it's fun to read it agrees upon my opinion involving it LFR can suck it uh, mythic reward changes they made it where you're going to get more base artifact power as you get further into mythic so make sure you take you know you're getting yourself in there and trying to get yourself not only do you get a really good piece of gear you know well get good gear throughout it as it scales but you also get the opportunity to be able to get a really good piece on the reset and then now they're they're adding where for example basic um, uh, base artifact level for mythic level 10 plus uh, is 1200 so it's 1200 plus your multiplier so that can be quite a bit um, that's an easy way to be able to upgrade your weapon and get it to that second third trait that you might be pushing towards um, there's some PTR information that's being shown take a look at it that'll be able to give you some idea of what we've got what we've got going on there and uh, again if you have any questions about how we're moving forward or what we need just ask boom for example or Dan or myself and we'll do what we can to answer it we're always looking for recruitment um, we're just we're just not getting the recruitment that we need in general um, we ended up losing a couple of players also to um, just the struggles on Ursoc, which is you know it's relative to all content if you're gonna do content you're gonna have good nights you got bad nights and we just had a couple of bad nights as far as getting that kill he's also a really really tough boss that just didn't pan out for us as far as what we were trying to achieve 
So, you know, just be heartful, though. You know, we're working as a team. I want to thank everyone who's stuck with us and uh, has been working out on what we're trying to get done. Um, it, it's tough. Rating can be tough. It can be time-consuming. Like I said, we're going to go down to just a consistent nine hours now per week as far as on content. And then, like I said, normal is just going to be something that's going to be plugged in on either Monday or Thursday. Um, you'll see the sign-ups for it. And then if you want to go, you can go. If not, if not. But I need you for the other three days at 100%. Um, if there's any issues, you need to contact Boom or Dan and let them know so that way we can adjust accordingly. The biggest element that was hitting up our team um, each week for the first couple of weeks is that we're just not getting the balance that we need involving the players. Like we're having too many heals. Um, we're, we're down to where we just have two tanks with a support tank and then uh, damage. We're not having enough damage to compensate for the total amount of heals present. So we made some adjustments and I want to thank those that did that. That was really tough um, to sit there and the way that they've kind of pigeonholed everything to kind of like if you did something and they were like well it'd only be 10 20 percent my ass okay it's really hard to sit there and pivot from one direction and then do something else in a completely other lateral direction and be able to come into the raid and do it effectively but everyone who's done it thank you because you have all right and that's big time for the team as a whole um those that are still specializing on what they're doing you're doing a great job keep at that work if you have any questions um please just ask uh, remember to review logs um, during each raid attempt. If you're in the gray, we're gonna we're gonna call out the name so that way you could take a look. And then, if necessary, for example, like we're having half the team, or you know, 60% of the team, 70%, 100% of the team is just executing in the gray instead of executing in the 50% or higher. We're gonna take a five, 10 minute break, and you need to go and look at the logs of somebody do a compare of you versus someone else and see how they're doing it, and then execute accordingly. With logs, you're able to get tons of information as far as when you need to use your cooldowns, when you need to sit there and set up your externals, when you need to sit there and you can use your potions, when to use hero. I mean, there's all this information there. And to not use it and to show up for a raid and not know the mechanics, for example, and not know what you're going to do in those mechanics really just puts us all in a position where it's just going to cause us to fail. We're only as strong as the amount of effort that we put in as a team. I was going to do the whole, you know, weakest chain and a link and all that stuff, but whatever. That if, if you don't know what you're doing, please prepare yourself so that way you can. That way we can improve ourselves and get ourselves in a position where we're a consistent raid team that performs at a high level. Again, thank you for watching the video. If there's anything you need, just ask and I'll see you in game.